You can reference various entity relationship diagrams on the architect.salesforce.com website. And I've got here on my screen the Sales Cloud data model. This gives you a visual representation of the various objects in the Sales Cloud for Salesforce and how they're related with one another. You can also download the diagram. That gives you this data model in a PDF form. You can also open the template in Lucidchart. It requires a Lucidchart account in order to do so. But you can click there and that goes to Lucid. Dot app. And then also other references here is that there's a link for learning more about ERD notations by visiting the Salesforce product data model notation. And so if you don't have much experience with ERDs, this will take you through the process of learning the different entities and what all of this means in these diagrams here. It really spells it out. It's about a 10 minute completion time. And so I'll link to this down below as well. And there's notes on some of the naming conventions for various things such as the double underscore MDT or double underscore C, double underscore X, etc. So this will be very helpful for you to make sense of these different diagrams as well. And so I found oftentimes when I'm trying to solution something or wrap my mind around Salesforce in general, it's helpful to look at these diagrams to understand the different layers of connections between objects as well. And so not only is Sales Cloud available, but also Service Cloud and more. So check out the resources here at Salesforce Architects. There's Architect decision guides, resources, and templates, and a whole lot more.